Hi guys, it's Drew here from Lone Fox, and today I have a brand new video for you. Of course, it's brand new. You're just seeing it right now. And today's video is an exciting one because it's actually going to be another on the budget video. My last video was kind of like a room um, transformation on a budget, which I thought turned out so incredibly amazing. So if you have not seen that yet, definitely give it a watch. But I'm doing some dorm decor for you guys. This is great for anyone who's moving into a dorm or just someone who's at home that your parents don't like you to put nails on the wall to just like, they don't want you to just do anything to your room, like which so sucks. It was like me when I was younger. My parents are like, if you need to put anything on the wall, you have to ask us first, and then we have to approve of it, and then after that, we have to make sure that there's a way to get it off. And I always didn't understand it, but now I kind of do, so this also is great for those types of people. I don't know which dollar store I'm going to yet, so we're gonna have to find out that. I'll probably bring my vlog camera and vlog a little bit inside the dollar store as well if I feel comfortable enough, because sometimes it's really hard to vlog. I'm, it's like hard to vlog in public, I'm sorry, it just is. Okay, little kitty girls, we're gonna do this. She's already falling. This is really rude. That's why I need my G7X back. Like I'm over this freaking Canon M50. Sorry, Canon M50. So it is safe to say that my hair currently looks like a bird's nest. Um, and it's also safe to say that, oh my gosh. It's also safe to say that my car hasn't been washed in 17 months. So it really needs a car wash. So I might even do that today. But I'm on my way to the dollar store right now to find some dorm decor DIY supplies. That was a mouthful. Gyrated. I always freaking put my finger up like this is my information thing like if you guys ever notice me doing it It's like did you know blah 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 like I'm a teacher like did you know it's time to go to class? Did you know we're making a DIY today? I guess someone decided to cut all the meters off So I'm really hoping I could park here. Here's the store by the way Thank you for whoever did this for making it free for me But also thank you for whoever didn't do this because I might get um, a ticket I can officially say this is the nicest 99 cent store I've ever been into like it's so pretty look it just looks really nice. Aluminum foil tape? I think I need this. This rope's kind of pretty. I'm gonna get this multi-purpose rope too. What the heck, I legit thought the dollar or the 99 cent store only sold things for 99 cents, but there's like expensive things here. I saw this at like Mervyn's eight years ago, I'm confused. I found some cork boards, but totally against my rule, it's $1.99, but it comes with freaking these. I needed those. I got some wood sticks, cause like you could probably do something with those, right? I just bought a grilling wok. Like, hey, let's, hey, party. Hey. let's party grilling wok. Apparently, they sell leaves here. I also found a mesh basket. Like, yes, mesh basket. I'm glad to say I didn't get a ticket, so there's that. I brought some tap water and an Evian bottle to look a little bit more bougie. So I spent a total of $16.50 with my most expensive item being this quality premier bamboo cutting board because look like this has a little bit of potential I'm not really sure what it's gonna be able to do. I think the weirdest item I bought was definitely my let's party grilling wok. Ariana definitely like pulled from Animal Crossing for this one. For this first project, I used the wood cutting board I just shared with you guys, some nails, black string, pencil, and a hammer. So what I started off by doing was actually using my pencil just to map out my moon shape. And I just did this very organic. I wanted like an organic moon shape as opposed to something that I printed or like something perfect. I just liked the way that it looked. And I used my pencil just to do a couple dots around my shape where the nails are gonna go, just so I can have like a reference when I actually put them in. And then I did about six or five or six holes at the bottom of the board, which are gonna act as the actual jewelry holder and these super puny tiny nails I found at the Home Depot for only a dollar fifty so it's basically from the dollar store as well really inexpensive and I had to use a pair of pliers to actually put them in because they're so small my fingers would not fit in between me hammering them which is kind of crazy and I went all the way around the perimeter of the moon shape and just nailed in all of the nails and this project literally took me probably 20 minutes total and it was kind of fun like hammering these nails in is a little bit therapeutic just think of each one as something that you don't like in life. Like, there you go. Please, 
I did a couple on the bottom as well, which is going to act as a jewelry holder. But you can also just use this as like a wall decor piece and um, exclude those. But I used my black string and went very organically around the inside of this moon shape. And there's no rhyme or reason to this. I literally put the string wherever I thought it fit and wherever it made it look a little bit more full. So I just went all the way around, um, looping it in between nails. And every single nail, make sure to kind of wrap it around so it's really tight and structured. And then I thought that this was nice, but I really wanted to sort of create an edge around it to kind of just I don't know lock the inside in I thought it just made it look a little bit more finished and a bit more of an actual shape the other one looked a little bit more organic um, I pushed all the threads back up and that is how I finished this project <laughs> Moving on to project number two, I used some brass spray paint, string lights, and these little wicker balls and some hot glue. These wicker balls were actually found at the dollar store as well. I bought two packs of them. And what I started off by doing was putting the little uh, wicker balls inside of, <laughs> I love that I'm saying wicker balls so much, inside of a box. And then I used the brass spray paint to spray them a nice brass color. And I flipped them and of course like recoated them. I had to do this about four or five times to make sure that they were completely coated in the spray paint. And we are essentially creating some little brass ball lanterns, which looks so cute in the end, I swear. And I got this uh, string light. It's only four feet of it. I got it at Joann's Fabrics for just a couple of dollars, but you can get like a longer one at Urban Outfitters or um, fi probably find one on Amazon as well. I'll make sure to link one below. But I created these little tiny lanterns, which definitely spruces up the look of just like a basic string light. As you can see here, it looks pretty incredible, I think. And at nighttime, it reflects off of the little like um, openings and it kind of creates shadows. It looks so pretty. So what you do is just go all the way down, stringing on the string light into the uh, wicker ball openings and then I use a little bit of hot glue just to secure each side onto the actual string and once you're completely done you can hang this up and turn them on and it looks like a perfect little wicker lantern this next project is called the memory mobile and I used the grilling walk some clips that I found at the dollar store and some black string I had on hand and what I started off by doing was cutting off two sides of the grilling walk with a pair of scissors it's super easy to cut um, this off it's not thick metal at all and then what I did was use the black string and strung it through the spring portion of the clip and I did this to about 12 clips total uh, but you can definitely adjust it to however many memories you want to hang of course and once you have all of this done just make sure to leave like probably about 24 inches of string so that way you can adjust it when we actually go to tie it or glue it I guess you could say onto this metal portion here so what I did was I slipped it through the underside and glued it on the top side and I did this through about 12 random holes on this actual grilling walk and I glued it on at all at different lengths so I wanted it to really vary that way when you hang all of your memories or your photos or whatever you want to put on these they kind of hang at different varying lengths and it just looks very pretty and you're just gonna load all of your photos or memories on here and once you have them all done you can hang this up super simply with a command hook um, I would suggest the one that has the metal sort of adjustable hook portion and you can put it on the ceiling and it's super super lightweight so it's perfect for a dorm room <laughs> create these $2 cork decals. You're going to need that cork that we found at the dollar store, some white paint, an exacto knife, ruler, pencil, and a paintbrush. So what I started off by doing was laying out the cork pieces and creating triangles from them. So the great way to do this, or an easy way to do this, is just to find the middle point of your cork and then draw down from the middle point with a pencil to the corners and use an exacto knife to cut off the excess cork. And an amazing way, if you do not know how to cut um, thicker objects with an exacto knife, is to just do multiple, multiple strokes. Like, don't push down and try to cut it all at once it's going to drag and tear but if you do multiple very light strokes like I'm doing here it actually cuts so much easier and this is a great tip if you're like using that foam board that they have at the dollar store or if you're using cork or anything a bit thicker just do multiple strokes as opposed to um, one very hard one and I created some smaller triangles as well and a medium shape one as well it's pretty self-explanatory how to create triangles and once you have all of these wall decals cut out I used a little bit of white paint and just some random scotch tape that I had sitting around just to tape off a portion of the uh, cork so I can go on with my white paint and sort of create a little bit more of a 
well, I guess white edge. I don't know. I just think it looked very pretty. And I painted one full small triangle as well. And once you have all these done, all you have to do is cut up your little 3M scotch adhesives that it came with and put them on your wall. And they're 100% removable. And you can actually pin things to them as well if you'd like. When I'm trying not to love you, trying not to love you. To create this trash can, I used the dollar trash can, some vinyl leather fabric from the craft store, a little bit of embroidery floss, an embroidery needle, a ruler, and a hot glue gun. So what I started off by doing was mapping out three inch sections or three inch strips of this vinyl fabric, and I got a whole quarter yard of vinyl fabric for just six dollars, or it might even it might have been three fifty actually. I think it was half off, and I cut out three inch strips of this, and I just left them pretty long so I had room to work with but I'm creating three inch strips that way when I fold both of the edges inside it creates a one and a half inch strip so I use my hot glue to fold over um, half of the vinyl fabric and I did it on the opposite side as well and we're just creating a more seamless sort of strip of this leather fabric or faux leather fabric and I did this all the way down the piece of Clever I, vinyl. I don't even know what you should call this. And then what I did was I actually glued it directly onto the wire mesh basket uh, using a lot of hot glue just so that it was very muchly like, secure. And when I got to the top portion, I actually wanted to create a little bit of a loop as opposed to just finishing it off because I thought it would look a little bit more decorative. And I used a bit of hot glue just to secure the loop um, on the inside of the basket. And I think this kind of gives it that very urban sort of restoration hardware esque feel. And I cut off the bottom portion and used an embroidery needle. And it looks like I'm really struggling with this it did take a little bit of force um, I used the leather to actually push it through but I just created an X on the outside to give it a little bit more detail as opposed to just having it glued and I thought it added a nice little touch and once you're completely finished just tie off your embroidery floss and you have your brand new sort of rustic restoration hardware inspired trash can for $1 Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed those projects. I don't even know what they looked like yet, but I'm sure they were just fantabulous. Um, yeah. Leave a comment letting me know which one was your favorite. I would love to know. And if you have any great ideas for anyone going back to school this year, living in a dorm, or anyone that is not allowed to put any holes in their wall or put anything on their walls or just do anything creative to the room at all, rude. Leave, a, leave them in the comment section below and I would love to read your guys' responses and also give this video a thumbs up. But I think that's about all for this video. Don't forget to check out any of my other ones. I post brand new home decor and DIY videos every single week and I'll catch you right back here next week. Bye guys.